Yeah, there's a, another one that's great. Uh, a gal named Teal Shear. Uh, always wanted to be an actress ever since she was a little girl. Unfortunately, at the age of um, 14, she was in a horrible car accident, and she was paralyzed and uh, from the waist down, and so she was in a wheelchair. Uh, but she it didn't stop her. She just was determined. She also was a dancer. Uh, when she went to college, she helped um, to put together a dance group that was comprised of people with disabilities and non-disabilities. And, uh, and she got a degree in communication and theatrical and, and theater arts. She moved to Los Angeles and was trying to get parts, but of course there's no don't seem to be very many parts for it. But she met this one gal, Felicia Day, who created the first yeah. web series, one of the first web series called The Guild. And Felicia created a character for her because she thought it was perfect because all of her cast is, are people that are, their, their characters are ones that sit in front of the games and they just do games all day. They're gamers and they all are quirky people. And so, perfect. This gal's in a wheelchair, so they only see her from here up anyway. So she did that, and Teal thought about it, and she says, you know, I, I think I should do a, we a web series about all the trials and tribulations of what it's like for me being a struggling actress in a wheelchair. Mm -hmm. And so it, she created it as a comedy, which is what I loved about it, is that it was taking a social issue and it was giving it a, a comedic twist to it. So w people were being advised of what was going on. Uh, of, of, they were being advised of how tough, difficult it is for people with disabilities. Uh, what are some of the misconceptions or stereotypes that people have about people with disabilities? Uh, things like even as simple as people talking louder to them because they th <laughs> think they can't hear. Well, I, I can't mm -hmm. walk. It's not like I can't hear. <laughs> <you know? laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but people feeling they needed to talk differently to people just because mm -hmm. they have a disability. Um, but uh, Teal is just an amazing gal. Uh, her, hers is called My Gimpy Life. Oh, okay. And, um, uh, and I just absolutely love it. And uh, I, I talked about her uh, at the uh, K Web Fest in, in Seoul, Korea. Oh. And it was interesting because afterwards a gal came up and she said, I'm so glad you, were, you told us about about this woman who, who's disabled because my sister, younger sister, uh, has a, a leg deformity and she can't walk the way everybody else is. She can't even run. She can't you know, play sports or anything. And she just stays in her room and she mm -hmm. keeps to herself and um, she just watches things on the computer and she doesn't socialize. But she says, you know, I've got to show this to her so she can see what can be done and because she is so involved with the computer and, and looking at she she watches she streams stuff all the time because she doesn't she doesn't even watch television with her friends she just watches mm -hmm. things on the computer because she's very so you know she's not anti-social but she's I think she's just um, feels less conspicuous she feels more comfortable being by herself so anyway it was really interesting I I, I just it warmed my heart to know that just by one person knowing about it, they could help this this the, her sister. So I went and told Teal about it. I called her and I said, Teal, you aren't going to believe this. And I told her what the story. And she she said, oh, my God. And she said it made her tear up just to oh. know that her web series got through to somebody else and that it's it, it, it's making a change. Oh. And it's... Um, and this is in Korea that this woman in saw In Korea. Wow. And I said, you now have a fan base in Korea. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> So web series are, um, especially the ones that have social issues, and mm -hmm. a lot more women now are, are able. I, I noticed there are a lot more women who are creators, producers, uh, directors, and acting in web series than the percentage in film and television, which is pretty amazing, too. So women are very much in charge in web series. It's a, a really good opportunity to break in in that way. And just as an example of some people who have broken in, uh, there's a gal named Issa Rae, yes. and she came to our first one, our first and our second one, with um, Misadventures of Awkward Black Girl, which has now been turned into Insecure, mm -hmm. and uh, with HBO, and has just like it's been in. in uh, they're they're already you know doing the next season's uh, episodes. It's amazing, and more importantly, she got nominated for um, a Golden Globe 
in her first year. Wow. <laughs> um, another example, there's a, uh, you, do you know who Randall Park is? I've heard the name, uh huh. Okay. Um, Randall Park starred in two web series, and he, he even got some awards at the LA Web Fest. Uh, and then he got hired on Fresh Off the Boat. Oh, wow. He plays the father on Fresh Off okay. the Boat. Uh -huh. And so he's done in incredibly well. Uh, Gina Rodriguez, who was with Jane the Virgin, she starred in a couple of web series, and she got nominated and won a Golden Globe in her first year as Jane the Virgin. So all of these people got their start, and Issa, especially, she created the role, learned how to direct it. She had to, because you, sometimes you take on multiple jobs right. in web series because you don't have enough money to have individuals hired for that. But she wrote, directed, and starred in it. 